I, I kind of feel like we're in the safe zone right now to talk about 2024 fashion. Um, we have less than a month until that's a thing. And I'm really personally excited about it and the thought of it. And to preface this, you guys know I'm not a professional at this. I'm really just fashion obsessed and severely online. So this is coming from all the things that I've seen lately um, throughout the past few months where I've been compiling. I'm like, that makes sense for next year. Um, articles I've read, magazines, and just a little pinch of my kind of obsessions and hopes and wishes. Small eyeglasses. I've heard this trend being predicted for the past few years and it's not until recently where I'm like I can see this actually happening and I actually am starting to like it more um, and I think what really crossed me over were the Miu Miu eyeglasses. I feel like they're not like too small and I think the shape kind of gives like more of a modern like they're not to 2000s to me so I can kind of wrap my head around them a little bit more um, but I really like them and also in their sunglasses it even got me looking on like iBuy Direct they have a ton of like cute little eyeglasses like that small glasses I've been seeing them constantly everywhere from people I didn't even think would be into them and I just truly believe in my gut that this is their year and I and honestly I'm just curious I think that's the biggest thing with this one I'm just so curious I'm curious how they would look on me I've also been talking about this one a ton in all of my like last fashion trend predictions just because I love it so much but it's kind of been evolving the more and more I see it but belt bags um leather belt bags knit belt bags Paloma Wool has these really beautiful knit ones um and I just think any sort of belt utility looking belt bag Poppy Lissman has a really cool one too there's the belt bag and and then I've also been seeing little like coin purse kind of like wallets that attach to your belt and it's just like the little square thing hanging from your belt. I've been seeing that a ton everywhere and I love it. I think it's not so much functional. It just adds like another piece of an accessory. But also, I mean, I guess if you had like a little lipstick you can throw in there or something, but um, I don't think everything has to be functional either, but I think it's really cute. And also within that, I've been seeing more recently little charms that go on your belt. So kind of just accessorizing your belt loops, I guess more so, um, which I really like. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand with the like studded belts and like the more embellished belts because it's kind of like drawing attention to this part and just adding like a different way to accessorize and add like some funness to the middle part of your body so I'm here for that and if we did want to speak on functionality of that I do think like the actual belt bags are so functional because when I'm wearing a big winter coat that's the move for me is to wear something that can go over it where you don't have to fuss with like around your arms and stuff like that so skinny jeans I know we have to talk about them because I think I mentioned those in my 2023 predictions I don't think I saw a lot of skinny jeans happening like definitely more so than previous years I'm kind of thinking more of them now as like less like the skinny jeans that I remember from high school but like kick flare kind of pants that are skinnier in the leg and kind of flare out a little bit um, but not too much. They're still like skinny pants or like cigarette style pants. I feel like J. Crew does them really well and styles them really well right now. Um, I mean always, but like they have, you know, they, they're more so straighter than skinny, but they're still skinny. And speaking of like the kick flare ones, these Donnie ones, I think that's what got me thinking about them. I was like, these are so good. And I keep seeing them styled um, and just like in the ways that I've been seeing them styled, I really, really like them. Also branching off of that for in the warmer months, capris or like pedal pushers, I kind of just think they're fun. And I really like the pedal pusher kind of that has like the flare, kind of like the kick flares, but in like the capri version of them. This year I've really been interested in 60s fashion. And I think that's something that really resonates with me from then are the pant styles, like the 60s cigarette pants. Um, and I just kind of love them. I keep seeing them in every 60s video I, I see and I also see them styled with like, you know, the mod dresses and I think that looks so cute. So I think that's kind of more where my brain's going for this year or for this next year. And um, I just think it's kind of fun to play around with proportions that way because they are a little bit shorter than like the normal skinny jeans that I'm thinking of or even like the flare jeans and like the baggier jeans that are going on like right now currently. Again, I think it's something to play with and I think that's something also that goes into my next one, which is are like the shoe trends of this year or like or I guess just like lack of sneakers I feel like more and more into the year I've been seeing sneakers obviously Sambas have been a thing the entire year like that was the biggest sneaker trend in my opinion but I feel like lately I've been seeing a shift kind of into like obviously the flats loafers boots uh, kitten heels, you know, like slingbacks, that kind of thing. And I think those kind of coincide a little bit better with the cigarette style pants or skinnier pants than a sneaker does. And so I feel like those kind of make sense in my head that they would be happening around the same time. Um, and so, yeah, that being said, the shoes, I think that I'm, which actually kind of sounds to me because I love sneakers. I will forever be a sneaker 
girl, but um, I do, I am having fun with like the more dressy shoe. And if you can find some that are as comfortable as sneakers, like I have some that I love that are like just as comfortable as my sneakers, win-win. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, shut up, we hear you talking about capes and ponchos constantly, but I can't stop because I just, I'm so enamored by them. Every single one. You guys, I went through Etsy the other day and I just kept adding, adding, adding these vintage capes to my cart and I was just in awe of the beautiful styles that they had back then and um, just the ones that you can find online that I didn't even like think to look. I've just been thrifting mine in person and so I've never even like looked online and they're so cute and fun. And I've been seeing like this picture of Alexa Chung in a cape is has been occupying my brain. I've been seeing them more and more in an editorial sense. Also like on the runway Lueve with the, you know, like the knit one, that one's also etched in my brain at this point, but I just cannot get enough of them. And I really hope that they have like a proper moment as much as I've been seeing them lately I think like them having a specific moment where it's like oh like a headline on like who I wear or something and it's like you'll never guess what Gen Z's wearing now capes and it's like you know I don't know maybe that is a thing but I love it and I'm here for it and I think you can get them in so many different styles and you can really match them for whatever vibe you want I think and I also just feel like the overall tone in fashion lately um, at least maybe it's maybe it's just like what I'm seeing in my bubble um, what I've been interested in as I get older is more of like a polished look I guess you can say like quiet luxury this year has been like a big talk But um, I think just in general I've been really liking a more simple curated look um, that looks really like delicious You know sometimes you see an outfit I look at an outfit that like looks really put together and kind of seamless as delicious and that is coming from someone who like loves patterns so much. Loves mixing patterns, loves the funkiness of fashion as well. But I'm having like a really big sweet tooth for like the classic looks that are kind of like, but in the past I kind of would think of as more like going out to dinner, like dinner party looks or holiday looks or something, but like all year round, if that makes sense. So I think just like capes kind of fit that perfectly in my opinion. See, I feel like a lot of these are going to be like pulling from the 60s. I don't know, maybe that's just like me again because I'm stuck in that, but I really do think I've been seeing them everywhere, but pattern tights, embellished tights, just colored tights in general, you know, I've been talking about that constantly. I've been seeing a large amount of like plaid tights with like plaid skirts and stuff and I love that, um, or just plaid tights in general, ombre tights, fishnetty tights, like any sort of tight. Um, also embroidered tights. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I was on Etsy yesterday and I saw the cutest embroidered tights that looked so fun and cute. So anything like of that nature that is a fun tight that brings some sort of interest to your legs under a dress or a skirt or something, it's really juicy to me to think about. And then again, they really do go hand in hand with all of the shoe options that I was saying as far as like, you know, like the, the flats, loafers, uh, boots and things like that. They like pair well with those rather than sneakers. So that it's all kind of coming together in my brain. This might be a controversial one or one that people don't, you might not agree with this one, but I, for some reason, have been seeing aprons being talked about so much this year, especially as of late. Um, I've been seeing so many different ideas on like how to style little vintage aprons over like skirts or even designers putting out a apron style like dress. It's like a dress that looks like a big like cooking apron and I kind of am here for that because I bought I, I don't know if you guys remember one of my like videos I showed an apron that I bought and I haven't styled it yet but every time I look in my closet it's sitting there and I'm just like you are your day is coming you know what I mean like it's coming and I think that I just have to grow the balls to actually do it but I love the idea of it and I think that it's something that I really didn't think that a lot of people would have agree with, but I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it. And it's something that I thought was more niche than I think that it actually is. I kind of think it could be fun. I wonder, I don't think I've seen it anywhere besides online culture. So I'm not sure if like that kind of thing has hit like stores or anything yet, but I am curious to see about apron curiosity and how that will evolve. If you can read my mind, you might know the color that I'm about to say that everyone's been talking about, but red is like, it's so big right now and it's bigger than I ever thought it could be. And I love it more than my ex target employee self ever thought I could love it. I love red. I personally love that it's having its moment. Um, and I don't think that moment's going to stop. Like I kind of did at first just because of how full throttle people were being about it. Like, you know, I just feel like sometimes when something comes on so fast, it has like a quick fall off. Um, but I do think this one might last. Uh, and I think that if not like only just red, red, you know, like bright red, I think like different iterations of red, like a deeper red or burgundy oxblood kind of vibe. I 
I personally really love that. I'm really excited to see how that evolves also in the next year. Definitely on my list, I really do wanna get into deeper reds because I have so much red stuff. I love red accessories, as you guys probably know, like my bags and my shoes and stuff. Yeah, I think that like a deeper tone of red could be fun to play around with too and kind of is a little bit more grounding in an outfit. When I say like a darker red, I'm, I'm picturing this one specific bag right now and it has this like tone of a deep burgundy-ish kind of almost brown. And I also think that brown is going to have even a, like a bigger moment. It did a few years ago, kind of like fluttered out, especially with me, like I really liked it a couple of years ago. And then the past couple of years I was like, oh, whatever. Um, but this year I'm kind of really into like a really rich, rich brown or like a rich caramel kind of color that is just again kind of delicious you would describe it as and so i i'm really into like those kind of colors right now and i think that those would be fun to see in the 2024 seasons and just like i think Seeing how they evolve like mixed with spring colors and summer palettes and different things like that could be cool then also within the brown cheetah print I have been seeing it so much lately. And cheetah print, don't get me wrong, it's literally almost like every other year I see pops of it constantly. Like I feel like it's con it's a constant for me personally. Like I always love that. There are times where I wear it more or like want to wear it more, but um, since I was younger, I just love it. And I think that seeing it styled in a lot of different ways lately, like specifically like the Ghani cheetah print pants I keep seeing. And I love how like baggy they are loose but also like just how they can go with such neutral outfits and kind of just like you can really play them down and kind of have that just they're the center of the outfit everything else is very kind of put together um or on the other hand of the spectrum you can really like go full throttle and mix them with other patterns and cool funky colors and things like that and i love seeing all of them but i feel like i've been seeing a lot more cheetah and leopard print on the runways lately than i have again in a in the past few years. So that's exciting, especially for someone who is as into Jersey Licious as I was. We had like cheetah print curtains. We copied their whole aesthetic at my house. We all loved them. So this is less of a distinct thing or whatever, but I do think that like, I know we're talking about a trends video, but I think like focusing less on like something that's like so trendy and something so specific that is a trend um, or just a statement piece in general. I feel like the focus on that, to me, I've kind of taken a turn to really focusing on curating good pieces that are classic and timeless that ha that feel nice that I like really like wearing constantly. I guess kind of like the word I would say is like more thoughtfulness going into purchases or just pieces that you're wearing or buying and I've I've just been hearing that a ton this year and I think that that's really cool and exciting and I think that that going into the next year is going to be even bigger as well um, and especially again for me as someone who really loves statement pieces and, and who does like like playing around with trends um, I think that I that's something that I've been talking about for years that I've been lacking and I've been constantly working towards it this year but I think next year is really my year to like have really good pieces that I really love kind of paying attention also to more like of the fabric makeups how things are made and things like that um, and like how they feel and like longevity and that kind of thing is going to be like it, again for me I don't know it's kind of exciting to like want to curate really good pieces of my wardrobe that I just could wear every day that I won't get sick of that also just always look good so like prep or corporate baddie core uh, or like I'm thinking of like the Mew Mews of the world the Lacoste with golf line that one has been i love their stuff so much i think that lacoste in general for me the past i have not ever paid attention to lacoste really but i've been seeing some of their golf stuff pop up and i just think it's so cool and nicely thought out and like so pretty and precious also like sax pots and sandy liang um and i think sandy liang does it really well where i, I think i heard her talking about how she really thinks about and is inspired by like young schoolgirl kind of fashion and you can totally obviously see that in her designs and i think that that's really fun and i think it shows how like playful that elevated basics in my opinion can be um you know pairing them with socks and kitten heels and just like playing around with the proportions of things and layering and again i'm kind of thinking of like polos and cardigans and i think also someone who i've really been interested in the past year is wales bonner and their designs and uh, i think that the sportiness that can also coincide with the preppiness is kind of really, really a fun take on it to me. And um, so I kind of really like that. And again, I really like the corporate girly core um, with like the matching kind of suits, but again, kind of wearing the in, like daily life. I don't see any reason not to. So uh, yeah, also kind of, it also goes with the more toned down neutral vibe. I don't think I'm bowed out. Like I think I'll forever love bows, but I, it's hard for me to believe that they'll just like keep 
having like this big of a moment. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the thing, like I just feel like everywhere I look is there's a bow. And again, I love it. I am not complaining. I'm just so curious to see how that will evolve into the next year. If it will, like, I, again, I think still think those are gonna be a thing forever. They've always been a thing, but I just wonder if the focus will be so pronounced, you know? Yeah, like I'm still going to be adding bows onto everything. And I just think it gives it such like a fun, youthful feel. Uh, and adds like such a playful factor to any look. And again, just like adding them to to bags. But speaking of that, like bag charms and things like that, I think that's really fun. But, um, or adding bows to like hair, your coats, your shoes, your everything. I think it's just so fun. So again, that's this is more of just like a thought on this is that I'm curious and I would love to know what you guys think about that one. I haven't heard anyone really talk about like the future of bows. So let me know <laughs> what you think down below of the future of them, but I think they're really still exciting. And I I think that they'll maybe more transform into other kinds of, like rather than just your ribbon bow, I've been seeing a lot more of the puffy bow, not only in home decor, I recently just made one for my <laughs> Christmas tree, but um, I just mean like in your hair, like, in seeing them transform to, into like bags and stuff like more and more. And then also like, again, into tights and like all the things, just very curious. I love rain boots. I will always love rain boots. And I hope again that I see more of those in 2024 styled in a ton of different ways, dressed up, dressed down. And again, I just think they're so, so severely functional, but also so fun. I think like the vibe of the Ghani Barber collab, that to me is very much so 2024. Like that's what I'm all about or I would love to be all about in 2024. And I keep seeing their shoes styled with the rain boots and I love that. I see like a ton of places, Hill House Home, um, Doen, wearing rain boots in their like shoots for their clothing lines. And I think it's so cute. And I think that it, it's such like a nice way to like bring down like a really fancy, again, like Doen style dress or something or like vintage pieces. I think it's so cute. Other than that, some brands and designers that I'm personally like really interested in like checking out more of or like just paying attention to more in the coming year is Tori Burch. I feel like she has been there. Oh my God. The stuff that they've been putting out lately is so good. I've been seeing like a ton of influencers talk about them. And that's kind of what sparked it for me because my mom has always loved Tori Burch. Like she's like a Tori Burch collector, but I've never really been like super interested in them until like the ballet flats. I started getting into those and I was like, wait, they kind of have cute ballet flats. Anyway, I've been seeing like they're really cute flats with like the little piercing on them or like the, the cute heel like this. It's kind of like a broken style heel. Um, and just like their jeans and their pants. The way they're styling their pieces, I don't know. Something got into them that's like really sparked my interest and I love that. And then also Saks Potts, their newest stuff on the runway and like also just like their Instagram and stuff has become so inspirational for like not comfy outfits, but just like kind of effortless vibe um, and kind of simple elevated looks. Loving them. Also Leveste Leveste. I love looking at this brand for inspiration, especially for like sewing inspiration. I don't know. I just think that they have the cutest pieces and they're way more funky than the other things that I'm listing, but um, they have really, really unique, cool pieces that I think are so fun to play around with. And the way they just reimagine certain pieces or like the details that they add to it, like the laces and things like that, I love and the patterns, specifically like the plaids and things that they choose is, are so good. Simone Rocha, I've really gone into her designs, like looking at them, that's what I mean, I don't own anything, but I like looking at them again for inspiration and just like gawking over them, kind of just drooling. And I just love everything about Simone Rocha. And I also feel the same about Cecily Bonson. Um, just like the dramatic sleeves, the dramatic, silhouettes of everything is so fun to me and it's really just got again it's just so playful and the color palettes that they use and the way they style things for their shoots and like on their runways and things like that and also Molly Goddard within that but also Molly Goddard the way they've been styling like ruffles with like the more preppy schoolgirl styles like cardigans and things like that and socks and I've just been loving their runways recently also the way they've been styling the exposed bra which I I have been hearing little peeps about uh, the exposed bra being like kind of more prevalent within the next year or so, but I don't know. I do think that's fun and I do love seeing it because it's so reminiscent again of like 2000s and stuff. But uh, yeah, I those are all of my like kind of fashion prediction-y kind of interests or whatever for the next year. And needless to say, I'm really excited to see what happens and just play around with fashion more next year. And I would love to hear what your predictions are down below or what you're interested in, what brands you wanna look at or whatever it is. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this and I will talk to you guys tomorrow in the next vlogmas, bye!